Recently, I have been asked the same question several times, and I would like to address this with you today for the next few moments. The question is this, does God still speak to us today? Well, I can tell you the Bible records God speaking audibly to people many times, and we can see this in Exodus 3 at the burning bush, the change of leadership in Joshua 1, Judges 6, 1 Samuel 3, 2 Samuel 2, Job 40, Isaiah 7, Jeremiah chapter 1, Acts chapters 8 and 9. And I tell you, these are just a small sampling of the examples I could give you. There's no biblical reason why God could not speak to a person audibly today. However, I want you to know that with the hundreds of times the Bible does record God speaking, we also have to remember that those instances occurred over the course of 4,000 years of human history. So what I'm trying to say is for God to speak audibly to someone today would be the exception, not the rule, even in the biblically recorded instances of God speaking. It wasn't always clear whether it was actually an audible voice, an inner voice, or even a mental impression. But I can tell you, God does in fact speak to people today. First, I know that God speaks to us through his word. 2 Timothy 3.16 will tell us that. Isaiah 55 verse 11 says, My word that goes out from my mouth, it will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. We know the Bible is God's word, and it contains everything we need to know in order to be saved and to live the Christian life. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 says, His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and goodness. Now, did you also know that God can also speak to us through events? For instance, He can guide us day by day through arranging our circumstances and the, and the things that come across our everyday path. God can also help us to discern right from wrong through our consciences, as we see in 1 Peter 1 and 1 Peter 3.16. God is also in the process of conforming our minds to think his thoughts. At least that's what the Apostle Paul said in Romans 12.2. And God also allows events to occur in our lives to direct us, to change us, and to help us grow spiritually, as in James 1 and Hebrews 12. 1 Peter 1 verse 6 reminds us, In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief and all kinds of trials. These have come so that your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may be proved genuine and may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. You know, God may also sometimes speak audibly to people, but I tell you it is highly doubtful though that this occurs as often as some people claim. Again, even in the Bible, God speaking audibly is always the exception and not the everyday ordinary experience. So if anyone claims that God has spoken to him or her, you must always compare what is said with what the Bible says. Just because someone says, God told me, well, that alone does not determine truth. If God were to speak to you today through an audible voice, his words would be in full agreement with what he has already said in the Bible, which we know is his written word. 2 Timothy 3.16 says this, God does not ever contradict himself. I hope this has been a teachable moment for you. Thanks for listening for a few moments, and please keep listening to God. How? By reading your Bible every day. Please read the book. May God richly bless you as you serve him.